Hello and welcome to a new video. This is a guide for an Uber rack in which uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, what talents to pick and uh, how to play this uh, hero in a most efficient way. So an Uber rack uh, in Heroes of the Storm is a uh, tank but uh, uh, if you played with it, uh, you should have noticed that uh, he's squishy and uh, he's not really reliable as a tank. He cannot tank enemies. Well, at least in crowd fights. One on one, uh, he's very strong, but uh, it needs uh, the a proper talent uh, build. Okay, so let's start with the talent. Uh, Anubarak is uh, should be based on uh, regeneration so uh, he has low HP but uh, this could be compensated with uh, health regeneration so the first talent should be regeneration master which increases health regeneration by 4 per second every 3 regeneration globes gathered increases this bonus by four okay so uh this will ensure that your uh, health goes back really fast let's level up Choose a at four uh you should pick legion of beetles trait and uber spawns beetles periodically uh, so this uh this uh, this build is based on uh, regeneration and uh, we will see at uh, at level 7 you should pick leeching scarabs so beetles heals uh, heal uh, nubarak for 50% uh, of their damage with each attack if he is nearby uh, okay because uh, let's say that you're uh, fighting enemies you will spawn a beetle with each uh, every time you cast a spell carapace or uh, impale and even borrow charge also I've noticed if you mount and dismount you'll spawn a beetle and with this uh, passive uh, beetle spawning uh, available you should uh, have enough beetles and they will uh, heal you quite a bit let's continue at 10 Locus Swarm uh, deal 100 damage per second in an area around an Uberak. Each enemy damaged heals an Uberak for 25 health. So this is more more regeneration, exactly what we need. At uh, level 13, uh, get Chitinius Plating increases hardened hardened Carapace's shield amount by 40% which is the second ability which I'm gonna talk in a few moments here blood for blood this is uh, a really nice talent for uh, late game you'll be able to kill pretty much every hero one on one with this one and also for ganking it's really useful and the final talent is uh, Hive Master an Uberak gains a permanent Vampire Locust that uh, attacks a nearby enemy every 3 seconds. The Vampire Locust deals uh, 352 damage and returns to heal uh, an Uberak for 83 health. So more, more regeneration. This is the Locust which will fly around your hero. Okay, about the talents we have Impale, Hardened Carapace, Burrow Charge and Locust Swarm. Uh, the abilities are used first you should use borrow charge for example if the enemy is here use borrow charge here you'll get a small stun and then use spikes you stun him again or them again if uh, there are more heroes and then you cast carapace to summon a beetle which will fight along you and will also heal you and if you have blood for blood use one and uh, click on the enemy and steal his health and um, yeah he will get slowed down and yeah you can just kill him and yank him with your uh, teammates um, I think this is the most efficient uh, talent build at the moment I've played 
around uh, 15 games I think and I uh, won at least more more than 10 of them I think 12 or something so the win rate it's really high uh, but after I learned to to play with to play this hero because um, it's a bit tricky at start you won't have access to the regeneration talents and you'll have to take these two until you reach level 5 which will not help you with your uh, health regeneration and you'll be too squishy to to fight uh, I've noticed that Anubarak is very efficient on the sky temple map because he can just solo an entire temple the, the shrines there he can just go there sit and with carapace he can tank uh, the mobs there he won't die uh, but this mostly because the regeneration talent build uh, the the playstyle is just um, I've won uh, most of the games where um, there is another uh, efficient tank like Moradin uh, Diablo or something similar like uh, really tough tanks and uh, it's a bit hard if um, you d your team doesn't have tanks because you'll be the only tank maybe and um, since it's Anubarak is a bit squishy you won't be able to tank efficiently but if you have enough assassins uh, it will be great and also I've noticed um, it's great if you have bright uh, brightwing in your team you will get uh, heal and also other healers are also helping and um, anti-heroes for Anubarak are uh, assassins mostly uh, and efficient tanks with uh, with disablers uh, what else to say about the hero yeah just uh, there is another previous video uh, where I talk about uh, if uh, an Uberak is worth to buy or not to pay the 10k gold so yeah I say again it's uh, it's alright to buy it and uh, yeah it's uh, one of the most fun uh, heroes I've played so yeah that was about this video if you guys have questions or other tips please leave in the comments see you in the next video and uh, thanks for watching